All right, scale seers on the muscle up. Let's talk about all the different ways you can scale a muscle up. I'm sure we're gonna miss some, but there are plenty of ways you can attack this one. It gets quite fun. So as we all know, muscle ups on those high rings, you go from below the rings up to above the rings, and how you get between those two points requires a lot of strength and skill. With these lower rings, we can start with simply a seated muscle up, learning how to pull ourselves from below to above the rings by putting the hands in, going down below, getting the good false grip, working all the components of it, and just using your legs to lean back, pull yourself up to touch the rings, dive the head and chest through, then stand up in that actual movement. You can use your feet on the ground the entire time, and you can make this progressively harder by walking your feet further forward. So that was from the ground with his feet right under his body. Now he can walk his feet further forward, makes that transition a little bit more difficult. So he's making a more difficult version of this and then walk his feet all the way out, what makes it even more difficult because your feet have less purchase into the ground. And he pulls himself through and goes all the way up. You can even make that more difficult by lifting the feet up in a bit of an L sit, but I'm not gonna make him do that because he's not fully warm. And I don't know if he can make it, but beyond that, the other ways that we can do this, we can do a banded muscle up. So you could take somebody, you could have a band, Toss it in there. Show me, show me, do it, do it. Puts it through, tightens it down, gets it there, and you sit down in the band. So this is where it gets a little clever. You come on down to the bottom. This is probably a little bit too much band. Yeah, it's okay. It's too much band for him. But for him, see how it's holding him up nice and high here? It helps him with that initial pop and the transition and he can pull himself up and through. Still having to keep the ring tight, still having to do these other pieces, but there's an assist through that initial piece as you go up. Another way we can do this is work the negative. So this is a great for people who are needing more strength in the overall movement and the stability is hard for them, is getting to the top of the movement and then working the slow negative down and then turning yourself over and getting under the rings. And that can be done with your feet on the ground or it can be done where you pull your feet off the ground and you really just fight through that negative down. Ooh, and that's quite hard. Does a bit of eccentric stuff and works that stability on those rings. Uh, another scale for the muscle up would be something like a pulley system that you can set up. All right, now this isn't our first go-to because it takes a lot of setup to get here. But this is a great way for somebody who has no capacity in terms of the strength to actually go up on those rings or hold their own body weight, can develop a little pulley system like this and work on this piece. So they can even step back so they don't even need to crouch down so the bells don't hit them. So when he pulls down on the ring, it's gonna lift the weights up. So he pulls down, same thing he would do, dives the head and chest through, whoop, and then presses himself out and he works at a fraction of his total body weight, the actual muscle up component. So he's getting both the strength and the skill required that you would get from a much uh, different version up on the rings. Now it's at nine kilos <laughs> per actual, uh, nine kilos, that's nine pounds. Nine pounds. That was a, yeah. That's a three kilo, four kilo, five kilo, four and a half kilo. Um, but this system's awesome for people who are like, you know, not gonna be doing muscle ups anytime soon. That still gets them a very similar thing and makes them feel pumped about what's going on. So there's another variation of this, which is a super awesome variation for, this can be used for people who don't have muscle ups, or this can be used for somebody who wants to build more capacity for multiples in a row, but throwing themselves up over rings is not gonna do it. So you can really fatigue small things by doing this. You set up the, the rings using two smaller rubber bands. Uh, from here, you find a seated position that you can get a little bit of tension on the bands. Uh, depending on the size of the band, it'll be more or less tension. Still take the false grip, still do everything, but then you pull yourself through the same general mechanics. Lean back, turn over, press out. And what you're getting here is as these bands get more and more taut, it becomes a harder and harder movement. So as you're locking out and really finishing this movement, it's forcing that lock out of the elbow. Very similar to an actual muscle up. Same thing as you pull down, as you're moving through it, this is a more and more difficult thing because the band becomes more and more stretched out. But then it kind of, you have to resist it pulling you back through as well. So another fantastic scale. Obviously, have somebody who can control themselves. <laughs> you don't want to let go of a stretched out rubber band and have it slap up in the face. But this is a fantastic other way to scale the muscle back.
Thank you for watching that. Just so you know though, that is just the tip of the iceberg. If you found that helpful and you want more content just like that, we have hundreds of these videos in the knowledge. Everything from cues and tips and tricks to theory content that will flush out your understanding of everything we do in CrossFit. If you wanna learn directly from me and do weekly calls where we do homework and everything in between, we also have the Knowledge Pro. If any of this sounds like your cup of tea, just click the link in the description for a free seven day trial.